Hi friends, my name is Krishna, Krishna Akumala. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are going to discuss illustration for today. We have another two to illustration completed, probably another two. I am going to go on illustration. After that, we will for competition. Right? Without wasting much time, let us get into the topic. Okay, friends. Let us uh, now read the problem. On 1st January 2020, Ankita sells goods for 5 lakhs, Havika, and draws a bill at 3 months for the amount. So, Ankita sold goods worth 5 lakhs to Bhavika and she 3 months bill. That is what the sentence says. Bhavika accepts it and return it to Anika. What Bhavika did? He accepted the bill and sent that bill to Ankita. Now, on 1st March 2020, Bhavika retires her acceptance under rebate of 12% per annum. What does it mean? Actually, the bill is written for 3 months. So, Bhavika is supposed to pay on 3rd month, end of 3rd month, after 3 months basically. Supposed to pay that amount to Ankita. But what happened? On 1st March 2020, Self, she retired the bill. When I say retired the bill, I already explained this in my previous. What does it mean? She's ready to pay that amount well in advance, one month before. That is one month. One, how can I say one month advance? The bill is written on 1st January. How many months bill? Three months. That means what is the due date? January. The whole month I have to take because the bill is written on 1st January. So whole January, February, March. So March 31st, she's supposed to pay this bill amount. But paid this amount on 1st March 2012. She paid this bill on 1st March 2012. Since she paid this amount on 1st March 2012, we call it as, for the due date she paid, we call it as retiring of the bill. She retires the bill or retires the, her acceptance under rebate of 12% per annum. That means what? She went and told Ankita that Ankita. I am ready to pay this amount one month advance. Can you give me 12% rebate? So, Ankita agreed. Since Ankita agreed to pay 12% rebate per annum, so she retired the bill. Retired the bill is nothing but she paid that bill amount month advance. That is what the problem is. And the problem says you need to record the transactions in both the books, Ankita as well as Avika. Right. First thing, Ankita sold goods worth 5 lakhs to Bhavika, right? So, what entry we write in Ankita books? Uh, here, I am showing both Ankita as well as Bhavika books, right? So, what uh, Ankita did, she told goods Bhavika on credit. So, Bhavika is the receiver. So, Bhavika account debit, sales account has to be credit. She did Bhavika account debit, sales account. Are you clear so far? Similar way, what Bhavika has to do, she purchased goods from Ankita. So, when she purchased goods from Ankita, she has to debit purchase account and credit Ankita account to the extent of 5 lakhs. Are you clear so far? Then what happened? Ankita wrote a bill on Bhavika. When Ankita wrote a bill on Bhavika, what will happen? Ankita will call that as bills receivable and Bhavika will call that as bills payable. Only one bill. But that bill will be called as bills receivable by Ankita and that bill will be called as bills payable by Bhavika. Because Bhavika has to pay that bill amount, Ankita has to receive that bill amount. So, bills receivable from Ankita's point of view, bills payable from Bhavika's point of view. Now, when the bill is written, what Bhavika is supposed to do? She has to accept and send back that bill to Ankita. So, bills receivable is an asset for Ankita. So, all assets are debit balances. She has debited the bills receivable. And who has given this bill? Bhavika. Bhavika account is at the extent of file. file. Similar way, Bhavika, what Bhavika did? She accepted the bill. That means what? She has to pay this bill amount. So, bills payable will be a liability for Bhavika. Since bill, bills payable is liability for her, she has to credit the bills payable account. Why? 
because all liabilities are trade balance. So, bills payable account credited. He is giving this bill to, accepted and giving this bill to Ankita. So, since Ankita is receiving, Ankita account has to be debited. So, Ankita account debit and bills payable account credit has to be the entry Savikas. Are you clear so far? Then, now bill is with whom? Ankita wrote a bill, Bhavika accepted and sent back that bill to Ankita. Always remember, Troyer will have, will retain that bill till such time the bill get expired. Unless otherwise it is been endorsed. Huh? That is a different story altogether. Right now I am talking between Troyer and Troy. So when the bill is written by Ankita and accepted by Bhavika, the bill will be come back to, will, will be you know received by Ankita and Ankita will retain that bill with her till the due date. Ankita will retain the bill till the due date. Now the bill is with Ankita. What you know, Bhavika did? Bhavika went and approached Ankita on 1st March and said, Ankita, don't require to wait for 3 months. I am ready to pay today itself. That is 1st March 2012 provided give me some rebate. Ankita agreed. So when Ankita agreed to give rebate, what is the percentage of rebate they said? 12% per annum, per annum. So, 5 lakhs, 12 by 100 into, rebate has to be calculated for how many months? That is an important point here. Bill is written for how many months? 3 months. See, that is what he has written, right? 3 months bill. 3 months for the amount. So, bill was written for 3 months. From 1st January 2020. January February, March, three months bill, right? So, actually this bill is supposed to be paid on 31st March. Bill is supposed to be paid on 31st March. But, she is ready to pay on 1st March. That means, one month advance she is paying. So, while calculating the rebate, how many months advance she is paying? Only one month advance. So, 5 lakhs into 12 by 100 into 1 by 12. Why 1 by 12? One month advance she is paying. So, one out of, you know, how many months for, you know, year? 12 months. So, one by 12. If you do like this, how much it will be? 5,000. So, what is the rebate? 5,000 rebate. So, that is the rebate Ankita has given to Bhavika. That is the rebate Ankita has given to Bhavika. So, this 5,000 rebate is an expenditure for Ankita. So, she has debited since it is an expenditure. So she debited rebate and she is receiving 4 lakh 95,000. Out of 5 lakhs, 5,000 discount she has given, right? How much she would be receiving? She would be receiving only 4 lakh 95,000. So 4 lakh 95,000 bank account debited because cash is being received through bank. So bank account is debited. Rebate account is an expenditure for Ankita. So Ankita debited rebate account and credited bills receivable. By crediting bills receivable, Ankita has to give this bills receivable to Bhavika and receive that amount. Right? So, that is the reason bank account debit, rebate account debit and credit bills receivable account is the entry prepared by. What entry Bhavika will write? Bhavika will write, Bhavika is receiving the bill. So, bills payable account. For her, this is a bills payable. So, bills payable account is debited. Rebate account is an income for her. Because she is getting 5,000 5, rupees income. So, rebate account. All incomes and gains to be credited. So, rebate account. 5,000 credit. And she is paying 4,95,000 cash. So, to bank account, 4,95,000. So, these are the entries both, uh, you know, we are supposed to write in both the books. Are you clear? Right? So, if you have any doubts on this topic, please comment on uh, my video. I can definitely clarify your work. Right? So that's all for today. Right? Thank you so much.